here inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room right now. The teams are continuing to track and uh, monitor the cooling loop uh, issue on board the International Space Station. And to kick off our show today, joining me on console is the Expedition 38 Lead Flight Director, Judd Freeling. Judd, first off, thanks so much for joining me here today. Now, we've been following along with this issue, and I know you and the team have been doing a lot of really creative stuff to try and get this loop back up to its nominal settings. What are just some of the things you guys have been doing over the last couple of days? Sure. Uh, as as you're aware of, Dan, uh, it's uh, uh, we're we're in a spot now with uh, our external curling loop, uh, Bravo, uh, that it's rejecting all the heat of the station, and we're trying to get this uh, loop alpha uh, into a state where we can reject some of the heat mm -hmm. of the internal loads. So, just to set the stage a little bit there, um, uh, usually we we operate with uh, loop uh, loop alpha in a closed loop control mm -hmm. mode. So we're uh, we're we're unable to do that now. So, sort of the uh, the the efforts we're trying to do is is kind of learn how to operate this uh, this this loop in a in a kind of an open loop mode where we're we're using the controllers here on the ground mm -hmm. to, uh, to 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 be the closed loop. On so that. and so real quick, just what was the failure? You know, it was, it was with one of the the valves actually inside the loop, correct? Right, right. So, uh, so we have a a pump module package assembly that's mm -hmm. that's outside. That uh, that's the pump that flows all the ammonia throughout the uh, the external loops, uh, and um, on that that loop alpha. And uh, what what uh, what failed was the regulation of 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 where the the hot and the and the warm ammonia go. Right. So mm -hmm. we we call that the flow control valve. And uh, the flow control valve is now biased as such where we're only getting a lot of cold uh, cold ammonia into mm -hmm. the system, right? So that means that uh, we've got an interface between uh, the, the external ammonia system and the, uh, the internal cooling system, which is an internal water loops mm -hmm. that, are, that are cooled by water uh, through a, what's called an interface heat exchanger. Okay. If, uh, if we get the, uh, the ammonia outside too cold, uh, we uh, we are unable to integrate these interfa interface heat exchangers uh, with with the internal loops because uh, there's a risk of freezing the internal water loops mm -hmm. and and uh, if we freeze the internal water loops that's a that's a bad thing. Sounds like a much bigger problem. Right. It's uh, <laughs> uh, what ends up happening is those those in interface heat exchangers have a really small. Uh, if you can think of a radiator on your mm -hmm. car, real small fins and 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 places where uh, uh, they connect and 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 if we freeze this, the water expands, excuse me, expands and uh, uh, would allow ammonia to come to the internal uh, part of station. And that's, yeah, that's a really bad thing for the, for the astronauts. Avoid. And so what, what have the teams here in Mission Control been doing to try and, you know, get around this issue, get the loops back up to functioning to where they should be? Sure. So, so the external loop, we're, we're still, uh, like I said, uh, trying to use uh, uh, the, the, the team on the ground as kind of a closed loop uh, control mm -hmm. Uh, by commanding manually, so we we've tried to command manually the the loops. We 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 see the the heat goes up, and we command uh, little adjustments on on a different valve, not this flow control valve, but a different valve uh, that is regulating the cold uh, ammonia that goes into the pump. Mm -hmm. So so we kind of pinch off that valve a little bit, and uh, uh, that that allows the loop to warm up, and then we open it up a little bit, and allows the the loop to cool uh, cool down a bit. And it's my understanding that this is a loop that, you know, before you guys targeted it, it was one that was just open or close. I mean, this is something that loop wasn't necessarily designed to do. Right. So this this valve that we're manipulating uh, is is called a radiator return isolation valve. Mm -hmm. So as the name implies, it's an it's an isolation valve, and so normally it would just be open or closed. Gotcha. So so we're using this particular va isolation valve in a in a in a manner that it wasn't originally designed to be used. And so there's there's a lot of finesse. And, and basically what we do is is we started at a known position. Uh, we tell it to drive. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a number of seconds after it drives, we pull the power from the valve. Mm -hmm. So that fixes it in a certain spot. And can you give us just a general sense of how that fix has been working so far and or what you're looking at or if you're going to continue doing that or are you looking at other things, you know, in the coming days? Sure. The, uh, the the fidelity that we have here on the ground to, mm -hmm. uh, to to precisely control when that valve, you know, starts moving and stops, is uh, on the order of um, about point uh, point two seconds, point mm -hmm. three seconds, somewhere in that range. Um, 
We really need the fidelity to be much finer than that. We need it mm -hmm. to be on the order of 0.1 seconds. Okay. Okay. So uh, the way we can reliably, re reliably produce that is uh, by uh, putting uh, some software on the computers on board mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that basically allows us to get that finer control. And so, so, so engineers and coders overnight have been working on uh, kind of a, a software, we call it a patch, a software mm -hmm. fix uh, to one of the computers that controls, controls that valve movement. And... Um, uh, we we have we've identified the the code fix. Uh, we're testing it out right now, and uh, hopefully by this afternoon, uh, we'll be able to uplink it to the vehicle and uh, and then uh, start to again relearn how to mm -hmm. how to manip manipulate that isolation valve such that uh, we can control the uh, the temperatures of the external loop pretty reliably. Okay. Well, thanks again, Judd. Again, the teams here in Mesh Control flying a ship for over 10 years now and they're still learning how to do new things with it uh, so we continue to follow along as you guys try and get that loop back uh, into its nominal configuration really appreciate you coming on and giving us a quick update on where everything stands right now thanks john sure thanks dan